The search tool will allow you to search for a specific property. You may search through prop properties through the various property descriptions or by searching all. We'll go through the various search types. Choose the dropdown to search by each type. If you know the physical address of the property, you may choose the parcel address search. Type in the physical address into the search bar and hit enter or use the search button. Suggestions will appear that match your criteria. Choose the matching record from the search result and the map will zoom to that matching record and it will appear in both the list and the feature info widget. If your search has multiple ma matching records, you may choose one from the search window or choose one from the list. It's important to note that after searching, you may have to click the X button in order to clear your search. Next option is addresses. You may search for sub addresses such as accessory apartments, You'll see that with accessory apartments, you'll have one parcel selected. And if you go down to the feature info widget, you can choose the addresses. You'll see both the address for the main building and also the accessory apartment. The next option is to search by owner name. Say we were looking for a friend Mary to return her briefcase. We don't know Mary's last name, and when we search for Mary, it returns a lot of records. Well, what is Mary's last name? It starts with an S. Swanee. Oh. Slappy. No. Swanson. Oh, I don't think it's Swanson. Oh yeah, it's right here. Samsonite. I was way off. Well, I'm not seeing it here. She must be unlisted. So what do we do now? Sorry, Lloyd. I don't think the Samsons will invite us for tea and strumpus. After discussions with our friendly bartender, we find out that Mary lives on Alpine Drive. Big place. So let's search by road name instead. By searching for Alpine and choosing the correct Alpine Drive, all of the properties that are addressed off Alpine Drive are shown. We can choose one from the list or the feature, feature info widget. Unfortunately, I don't think Mary lives here either. If you would like to search by subdivision, you can type any part of the subdivision name into the search bar. Say you wanna find the reserve at Frisco. We'll just type in reserve. We'll see the various results. Got a number of different reserves. Scroll down and choose the reserve at Frisco. The results will show all of the properties that are found within the reserve at Frisco subdivision. You can scroll down your list and choose the one you're interested in. And again, scroll through the parcels if you'd like to do so as well. If you know your schedule number, PPI number, or a specific filing phase of your property of interest, you may enter it into the respective searches. We'll just search for Willow. 
we can see in the filing phase search, you can uh, report all of the different filings and phases for the individual subdivisions. If you would like to search by a PUD name, please select the PUD search. And then you will also have to turn on the zoning layer. There is also an option to search for multiple schedule numbers at once if you know your schedule number. This would be helpful for property valuations and comparisons. Switch the search tab to multiple schedule number. You may enter up to 10 different schedule numbers at once. Click apply, and the found schedule numbers will be selected and zoomed to, and you can get the detail page for these uh, various schedule numbers.